guys. This is Imbalanced Physical Therapy and Full Circle Coaching coming to you with the quick stretch for after running, after workouts. She's going to go into a downward dog and she's pedaling her feet, right? getting the toes into extension, into flexion after all that pounding that you've done. And then with the knees bent, she's going to go into that soleus stretch. You can wiggle your ankles in and out. If she finds a tight spot, she's going to hold that there for at least five slow breaths. So you want, when you find that tight spot, statically hold, because this is after your workout, so we're doing some static stretching. Hold for a good minute or so. As she pushes through her chest, she's opening her chest. She's rocking her chest side to side, getting the spine to move a little bit. Rocking the hips from one side to the other. As she pedals the foot, she rocks in and out. Awesome. Now we're going to go into a half kneel stretch. Now if you work with us before, the half kneel stretch you must do at least for two minutes on each side once a day. This does not have to be the two minute one, but move in each plane of motion to find out where you're tight. When you find that really tight spot, you're going to hold that there for at least a good minute or so. And obviously we do both sides. We're just going to demo one side. When you're in that half kneel stretch, make sure that you're contracting the glutes to get that shift of the pelvis too. That's important. So moving down into the upper spinal twist. Line up your body with the mat. Knees are 90, hips are 90. She's opening up, rotating. Make sure that your hips are in alignment with your chest so you're in an L position, so you're not opened up um, in greater than 90 position between the femurs and the, the trunk of your body. So she can repeat that a couple times to get the body to move and warm up, get the arm to move around a little bit, and rotate the head as much as you can without straining it. Breathe deeply from the sacrum all the way up the spine. Expand that rib cage and just hang out there for a good minute. And again, you do both sides. Then we're going to go into the hamstring stretch. She's going to reach behind her leg and straighten out the hamstring, straighten out the leg. The other leg should be straight. So let's have you straighten out your right leg, Erin. And she's going to turn the foot in and out. So you're going to get different angles of that hamstring, making sure you're going through a full range so that muscle gets to slide and glide. So she's going to have the foot turned outward and the foot turned inward. Remember the hamstrings are like reins on a horse, just pulling in different directions. You use your quadricep muscle when you're stretching the hamstrings and hold that there. You can use a strap too, but make sure you're using your quadricep muscle. Now she's going into a lateral hip stretch. She's grabbing her knee and her ankle. Just don't torque your foot too much if you grab the foot. Pull it on in there. Knee lines up with the shoulder and then go to the opposite shoulder to find out where you're tight. And again, statically hold that as much as needed. Try for a good minute or so. Going into a deeper hip stretch, she's going to line up the knee and the and the ankle. All right, she's going to grab the knee and grab the ankle and she's going to rotate the knee outward. So you're going to have the the other way. Yeah, rotate the other way. This way? Nope, the other way. Yeah, so now she's going to do a piriformis stretch. She's going to push the knee away and she's going to pull that ankle towards the shoulder and just hold that position. So keep it really tight and close in there and then you might want to move side to side as it's tight close to your body. She's pushing the knee away and pulling the ankle towards the shoulder. All right, last one. last one. Now we're going to get up and we're going to do a windmill stretch for the adductors. You want to get those adductors sliding, gliding. She's hinging forward from the hips, putting the hands down the ground. Do not let the back forwardly bend. And she's going to rotate. Make sure you're rotating from the whole trunk, not just the head. When you do this, also do this with toes in and toes out to get different parts of the body there. So really rotate. Now do that a little bit of hold there, Erin. Really reach there. Now she can take that right hand and grab her leg to pull into it a little more, to twist the body. And I recommend that you hold your leg if you don't have the range of motion to reach down to the ground because I don't want you flexing your back. All right. So this is your quick stretch. It took four minutes. Run on. <laughs>